video we're gonna be reviewing some more hair y'all yes more hair we're gonna be reviewing um this hair is coming from a company that i usually um purchase from um but they were kind enough to reach out to me and ask me to do um a review on um some new hair i was so excited about it it is gonna be some challenge something challenging for me but i really am excited about this because i really think i can get a bomb look out of this wig um before we talk about the wig i want to just go over what all i got in the package um it came in the um love me um box that it usually my hair usually comes in when i purchase from them um i got two more clips to add to my collection i got a hair wax stick um i believe this is the um flyaway tamer that i see a lot of people use in their videos I'm just glad I got some finally because I didn't know where everybody was actually purchasing it from. And then I have two um, bands in case I want to use them. And then some bobby pins and a rat tail comb. Which is very sturdy by the way. Uh, which I really really like. And I like this pouch because I like um, when I get pouches like this with like makeup or hair that I've been purchasing. Um, I like collecting these because I get to put things inside of here for like traveling or in my purse to like put my lipsticks and stuff in separately or my makeup, my touch up makeup. I like to put it in these containers. So this is their um, Pixie, their eight inch um, Pixie cut. This is their Pixie cut bob. Um, I am so excited and scared all at the same time to review this only because I've never had um, hair this short before, like not even my own hair. And especially not a wig so um, but I do have an idea of how I want it to look and I'm so excited that I get to actually have hair this short because I probably will never cut my hair this short and so sporting a wig like this um, actually is exciting for me I'm gonna go ahead and take this band off this band is something I got with some other hair that I received so yeah, this is going to be so cute and so just, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to play with this. Like, I really cannot wait. Y'all excuse the glue that I have on my hair. I want to show you guys again the inside of this wig. Um, this looks like a full lace wig. Oh my gosh. Wow, I think it is. Um, yeah, so this is the front of the wig here. This is the top of the wig. So you see we have the three combs there, the one on this side, that side, the one at the top, and then my all-time favorite. I love having combs in the back of the wig, so that helps secure to keep my wigs down in the back. So this is the overall look of the wig here. I do see I'm gonna have to customize the part um, to make it a little bit thicker, but I'm going to do that once I have it on my head. Um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and use some of this um, Sally Hansen Airbrush Spray on the wig because I want this wig to be tinted to my hair, um, to my skin color. So I'm going to turn the wig inside out. I'm going to put it on the mannequin head just like so. Um, I'm not going to really too much spray um, the back or the top of the wig um, unless I feel like I need to whenever I put it back on. But as of right now, I don't think I really need to So, because um, I still need to play around with it some more on my head because I haven't actually did that part yet because I like to do that on camera with you guys. And this is to um, get the knots out and, I mean not get the knots out. This is to um, tint the lace and then also to get any of those grid, um, that grid pattern out of the wig. So I'm just gonna take my brush and just stipple it in more. Oh yeah, definitely, this looks a lot better. 
And as you can see, I did get some of that spray on the hair. All you gotta do is take basically a wipe and just wipe it away. Basically. So now that we have that part done, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to cut this band off. There's a band on here. I don't think I showed y'all. But there's a band here to tighten it. I'm going to take, um, cut that off because honestly, that is going to be just what I need. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. And then if I need the band, as y'all showed y'all at the beginning, they send you um, bands. And I'm sure it's because you have to... Um, cut it to customize to your head. And so I'm going to go ahead and just cut up towards my ear. And I'm kind of nervous because I'm kind of messing up my eyebrows here, but it'll be okay. And now that I'm looking at this to the side over here, I see I forgot to tell you guys something else. So these earrings I have on y'all, um, I don't know if you can see them, but I also got this um, in the pack as well. Um, I got two pair actually. I got these gold ones with the pearls, and then I also got another pair um, that are just pearls, and they're little hanging dangly earrings that are so cute. You can see it right there. But I also got these, and I think they're so cute. I really, really, really love these, especially. Um, they are like right up my alley with earrings. <laughs> so I'm actually going to put it back on my head and see how far um, around my ear I need to cut it. So this is just me, like when I get a wig, I just play around with the hair to see what all needs to be done to it to make it to my liking. So this is basically what you have to do getting a new wig um, is just trying to customize it. So, I'm trying to be careful not to cut my hair in the process or my ear. Definitely don't want to do that. I already have small ears, so I need all the ear I got attached to my head. And I know I'm probably cutting the important parts like the band and everything the part that usually people like to keep on the wig but honestly with that comb in the back I feel like I don't need all of that and it's already fitted enough to my head so I um I don't need to do anything else with this so this side is always hard for me Just like that. And then I'm gonna take it back off and see the damage that I've done. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I know what I'm cutting, cause I, this is what I do whenever I get a wig. I'm not a professional, but I do know how to navigate around and know what all I need to be done to my wig to make it be right for me, so. And if you've made your own wig before or purchase wigs, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you know how to keep measuring, putting it on, taking it off, and constantly just trying to see what works and what looks good. So, but so far, I like this. Like, it's going to make me look just so grown and sexy. A look that I've never thought I'd be able to achieve, like I told y'all.
Okay. So we have the sideburns down. I want to see if I can clip this up like that so I can start. Actually, I see what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to take some of my mousse here or foam and comb these areas back. Okay, so see here. And I'm gonna leave this kind of a little bit lower than my hairline in the front because I want to see if I can do some really cute like baby hairs with this look like this look right here it's just gonna be so edgy and I cannot wait I'm gonna like Elvis <laughs> Let me take a little bit more off I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take some more of this foam and just kind of separate right here where the part is because I'm going to open up this part a whole lot more than this um, because I want this to look as natural as possible I really want like a deep part. That's what's going to make this look even more dramatic. And with this hair, I am going to have to secure it in the back. That's the only thing, but honestly, I could probably leave it like this and you wouldn't even be able to tell that it needs to be secure in the back. But I know with me, um, I probably am going to do that, but we'll get to that part later. Okay, y'all. So I pretty much just try to um, open up this part some more. And then I also just did a little bit of tweezing on the edges. Now I'm getting ready to... Um, Take some baby hairs, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, is doing that, and I'm using these clips to hold the hair back because the hair is so short that it's kind of giving me a hard time trying to move it out of my way. <laughs> I've already put down my got to be glued because with this hair. You're basically going to have to, um, you're basically going to have to secure this wig down. Baby hairs. Here. Because I want to be able to make my baby hairs before I start styling the wig because I want this part to already be made if that makes sense so we got that part done
gonna go ahead and put this band around here but first I'm gonna take this whole side over here basically I'm not gonna do much to except just kind of slick it back I had a brush up here somewhere and then also I'm gonna have all of this hair kind of like coming forward I have an idea in my head please go with me here on this out of the way so that I can put this band try to style this hair to the best that I know how like I'm gonna kind of take a lot of this hair and see what happens if I just kind of, you know, like curl it forward and then curl it back and forward, things like that. before but I just have an idea of what I want this to look like so You know, like this hair is really giving me life. Like I feel like a rock star or something. I don't know. Let's just try on a red lip and see what happens. from this angle on this side I feel like I can cut some more off to be honest now we talking oh my gosh y'all this wig is everything I didn't know that I needed it's everything I didn't even know that I could do um, definitely something I just was not <laughs> expecting I was gonna just ever like try to um, try to replicate but y'all to be honest like oh my gosh like this hair this hair <laughs> wow you remember that video uh, take a bow <laughs> Just take a bow. <laughs> Bomb.com. Oh wow. I can't believe I did this. Like if I had a bomb like outfit to wear like dress, 
this would be by far like my favorite look so y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this look i love it it gives me more of like an edge and then it also is just giving me life like i feel like i need to go somewhere now so y'all <laughs> Tell me what y'all think about this hairstyle down below and what y'all think about this hair. Thank you again, Love Me Hair, for sending me this hair, for challenging me to do something different here. And I'm glad I tried to do this. Um, y'all probably have hair all over the place and everywhere. Um, but I'm just really, really loving this look. And the red lipstick, the lashes, the highlight, like everything together just looks so put together. I know it's gonna take me some time to get used to this because I'm not used to seeing my hair this short. I'm really gonna enjoy wearing this. So I gotta get some photos, excuse me. I'm sorry, but Snapchat, where are you? <laughs> forgot to show y'all the back of my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and turn around in the chair um, and show y'all the back because I completely forgot